Welcome, everyone, and thank you for welcoming me uh, to your celebration of the Mass, at least virtually, to your parish life uh, again today. I'm here today to announce uh, our 2023 Diocesan and Parish Annual Appeal. Our theme this year is Rise, Do Not Be Afraid. It comes from the Gospel story from Matthew of the Transfiguration of Jesus. Remember Peter, James, and John. They see Jesus transfigured and they are shadowed by a bright cloud, and they hear a voice from heaven. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. And, overcome with awe, they fall prostrate, face down on the ground. Peter, James, and John didn't see just any old cloud. Remember, in the Old Testament, God's presence was made known to Israel by a large, voluminous, luminous cloud. It was a pillar of fire and cloud alternating night and day that led the people of Israel through the wilderness. When Moses ascended the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments, God's cloud of glory, this luminous cloud, covered the mountains. Later, God's presence in the form of that cloud of glory descended into the tabernacle. And again later, when Solomon dedicated the temple in Jerusalem, the cloud of God's presence, the cloud of God's glory, filled the temple. Now in the sixth century before Christ, the prophet Ezekiel had a vision in which the cloud of God's presence withdrew from the temple and from Jerusalem because of the sinfulness of the people. And from that time on, the presence of God was not physically manifest in the people of Israel. And Peter, James, and John see the transfiguration. They see the luminous cloud. It is not any cloud that they see. It is the cloud of God's glory. In Jesus Christ, the presence of God has drawn back close to his people, dwelling tenting, living, journeying with us. That's what's happening in that reading. That's why they're overcome with awe and they fall to their face. Today, the presence of Christ, the presence of God, the cloud of glory is with us always in the Holy Spirit. And we receive that presence in a particular way here at Mass around this altar when we receive the body and blood of Jesus. God is present to us. We are surrounded by his cloud of glory. And remember that in receiving this Eucharist, this Eucharist forms us into the living body of Christ on earth. So that now the presence of God traveling with his people can be made manifest in a cloud of witnesses, people who extend themselves to be God's presence, God's love, God's mercy, God's compassion to one another and to their neighbors. That's what the Diocesan Parish Annual Appeal is all about, empowering this cloud of God's witnesses to make his presence known to so many of our neighbors who are hurting or who are in special need. At Northern Kentucky University, Deacon Brian Cox and a raft of volunteers make sure that our young people during their time of study are also receiving all they need for this to be a time of growth in faith and discernment in their lives. In the past two years since I've been here, it's totally changed my life and without it, I don't, know, I don't even think I would have a faith because I didn't really have one beforehand. Just being able to be yourself around people who love Jesus, it is honestly one of the best feelings ever. <laughs> it's really enriching because you feel so secure in your life and in your faith. After coming back to the Newman Center, I started going to the, the Thursday Masses and started going to some Bible studies and it not only just made my faith more, it reignited the faith for me. If you like to laugh a lot, this is the place to go. At Catholic Charities, where many of our friends who suffer big transitions in life turn for help. 
Counselors assist individuals who face these challenges. They assist children and families who have suffered trauma. So we had some life transitions with my mom. She was doing great before, but she's even doing better now because she is able to cope with some issues that extend beyond some of the, the transition uh, issues. We wanted a faith-based, preferably Catholic organization. I knew that the information that would be conveyed would be based on authenticity and truth. That is uh, near and dear to us in our Catholic faith and tradition. Catholic Charities also does the corporal work of mercy of feeding the poor through the parish kitchen, through these mobile food pantries that go out into our rural areas, and St. Patrick's where there is a growing Hispanic community and Hispanic ministry. DPAA funds will help reach out to this Hispanic community to make sure that their children are invited into Catholic education. The thing that I like most about St. Pat is my teachers and the priests. I just feel that they're, uh, they'll help you in any way possible. I like that it teaches us about the religion and it teaches us about saints and what they do and how do they become a saint. The reason why I like learning religion at St. Pat is because not a lot of schools teach it. I like St. Pat because the friends here and the teachers, they're all very understanding. I understand. I try to learn English here because it's a good school. Ultimately, they do enjoy learning about their Savior and learning about their vocations to be saints. It can't be done without the generous support of so many benefactors across the diocese that help us do the mission of not simply educating the minds of our students, but educating the hearts and forming them into God-willing future saints for the church. Through the priest retirement system, we help care for those priests who have served us so faithfully for decades. The priest retirement fund, it's a trust fund that all the benefits to our retired priests are paid. Uh, it would be very hard to overstate the importance of the DPA in supporting our priest retirement trust fund and it's just made a tremendous difference in our ability to provide support for our retired priests. We have a number of priests that uh, are in nursing homes or skilled nursing facilities and uh, the DPA helps to make sure they are cared for in the way that they uh, need to be cared for and I think we all would want to do that. So thank you very much for your continued support of our retired priests by supporting the DPAA. At Holy Cross School, those who uh, support the diocesan parish annual appeal help to provide physical education, art, music, and STEM courses, science, technology, engineering, math. I love Holy Cross. I love the atmosphere and the students and the teachers and the staff. My teachers are really nice. You can come to gym class and still have fun and play games. and. Um, it's a way to get nice fitness in. A lot of my teaching strategies revolve around fitness for everybody. Every single kid is included in what we do, whether they are good at sport or they feel like it's, a, it's, it's sometimes a challenge for them. Also our STEM class is like, it definitely builds your brain and it makes you think hard. Ms. Veneman um, is like super great. She's super good with us. Some are songs that are just um, inspirational. It talks about being good and being kind and helping your friend, helping your neighbor. Um, and a lot of the songs that we do are, of, you know, have the religious nature. It talks about God being there for you. Um, he's going to help you through all the ills or, you know, whatever's going on in your life. We learn new songs and we get to have fun. A lot of the things I try and teach the kids is being kind to each other, being respectful, always doing your best, um, being good citizens, model Christians. It's like a family here. It's like when I came, I didn't feel like I was left out or lonely or anything. I came and I, was, I felt like I was welcomed in. Even if you're not like from around here, we still welcome, welcome you as a family. Today, Christ is still with us. His presence journeys with us. The cloud of glory continues to lead us through our wilderness. I'm coming to you today to ask you to be part of that, 
to play some part, big or small, whatever you can manage, to contribute with other Catholic neighbors to help support those who are in need, those who are in times of trouble, those who need uh, education, those who need formation in Christ, those who need accompaniment, those who need the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Please, won't you consider being part of that cloud of witnesses, that body of Christ, still present to us and leading us through a wilderness and dangerous world. When we're tempted to give up, to say, there will always be the poor with us, hear the voice of Jesus. Don't stay down there on your face. Rise. Get up. Do not be afraid. Thank you. Thanks for your consideration for the Diocesan and Parish Annual Appeal. And thank you for all of the ways that you are living witness to Christ on earth.